Hi, I'm Karen Cox, the broker of record at CNC Ski Realty with your June 2021 real estate market update. We came into this summer season with a reopening of some of our favorite activities. Everything old is new again. Family barbecues, laughing with our friends on a patio, and out browsing at the farmer's markets. They all feel like new experiences after our long months of social distancing. Of course, these months of restrictions brought on by the pandemic have had a big impact on the real estate market too. At first, there was a pause. It was like we were all holding our collective breath, waiting to see what would happen and how long it would last. Then came the frenzy. For nearly a year, we saw the home prices being driven up due to the increased demand from city dwellers looking for more space. And we had a shortage of listings to offer them. Bidding wars became the norm and properties were selling very quickly, often well above the asking price. For the last six to eight weeks though, there has been a feeling of change in the air, like a bit of unsettled weather. Many properties are still selling fairly quickly and the prices are still pretty high and there's still a limited supply of homes in most areas. So what's different? Let's take a look. Here's a summary of the residential real estate market in Gray County this month. The real estate market in June looked a bit different than it did in May. All of the five areas we track seemed to be in flux. Across the county, listings were down 8% overall compared to last month, with most parts of the county experiencing a decrease to some degree. Only one of the five areas showed a small increase in listings over May. Even with the listings down, the number of sales in Gray County as a whole increased by 4% in June over May. The individual areas though were a bit of a seesaw, with some up and some down almost equally. Of the five, only one area had a significant increase in the number of sales. Strangely, it had an even larger decrease in the number of properties listed. Compared with June of 2020, the number of listings have risen by 17% and the number of sales by 9%, a nice improvement year over year. The average home sale price in Gray County softened by 9% in June, down from 791,000 to 720,000. This is still a good increase from an average of just over 600,000 at this time last year. It took 22 days on average to sell a Gray County property in June, two more than it did in May. Last June, the average property spent 57 days on the market. The end of June marks the halfway point of the year. Let's look at how the first two quarters of 2021 compare. In Gray County as a whole, there were 586 new residential listings in the first quarter of 2021. This number increased to 930 in the second quarter, a 59% improvement. The number of residential sales rose as well by 47% in the same time period. The average sale price for a home in Gray County was roughly the same in both quarters, about 750,000. What happened in the individual municipalities, go to our June market update blog post or go to the individual community web pages on our website under the community highlights tab to find out more. So thanks for tuning in to this month's real estate market update and we'll see you again next month.